Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 31st, 2024. Halloween. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. <clears throat> Happy birthday today to Finley Bartels. I hope you have a great birthday and it isn't too spooky for you. We have no lunch today because today's a half day of school. Remember that our junior high students will dismiss at 11.30. K-5 students will dismiss at 12.15 p.m. But when we return to school on November 1st, we will have a Long John, Dice Peach Cup, Orange Juice, and Milk. Here are our Golden Spatula winners from yesterday. In kindergarten was Miss Murdy's class. First grade was Miss Cheserek's class. Third, second grade was Mrs. Hitt's class. Third grade was Miss Drolly's class. Fourth grade was Mrs. Larson's class. And fifth grade was Mrs. Box's class. Congratulations, we have some Rocket Math winners to announce. Passing Rocket Math edition, we have James Berg, Theo Nozel, Zade Villanueva, Dixon Fuller, Avery Jelm, Camilla, 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 Mario, Benning Zelko, Eli Fitch, and Harbor D'Angelo. Passing Rocket Math multiplication, we have Kagan Keck, Addison Pellack, and Landon Smith. Congratulations, keep working on those math facts. Just a reminder that tomorrow we will have a, uh, we will end Red Ribbon Week by wearing red or Morris grade school stuff to school tomorrow. Let's show our school spirit and rally in red. Winter sports pictures will be Friday, to November 1st, after school in the small gym at Morris grade school. The teams that will be photographed are girls basketball, boys basketball, and cheerleading. All athletes will need to see their coach to receive a picture packet. Also, all athletes will be required to get an individual picture taken as well as their team photo. 7th and 8th graders, if you're looking to get some service hours, contact Mr. LaFon. As we get ready to start boys basketball season, we're looking for some people to help out at the concession stand. This is a great way to pick up some service hours. Uh, if you want to do this, you do need to make sure that you have a ride to and from Shabanaugh where our games take place. If you're interested or would like more information, see Mr. LaFond. And I have an update from our Queen Wars for the honor flight. Miss Drolly's class has taken the lead in our coin war challenge. Keep up the great work, Morris. Well, as we get ready for Halloween, uh, I thought I would read us some interesting facts that I found on a website here on my computer. So uh, leading off, we have during peak growing cycle, giant pumpkins can increase by 60 pounds a day. So pumpkins can grow up to 60 pounds a day. Halloween has been celebrated for over 2,000 years. The best Halloween candy in a recent poll is peanut butter cups. I don't know. Do you... The worst peanut, the first candy ever, or the worst candy named was circus peanuts. I love circus peanuts. But uh, is that you guys playing the music? Is it Mrs. Co is Mrs. Conley or Mr. Wozniak playing music? Oh no! Help me! Help! Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Hello! Hi! Happy Halloween! Ha ha ha! Is all 
also National Knock Knock Joke Day. One time in Keene, New Hampshire, a record was set for lighting 30,500 jack-o'-lanterns at one time. Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein when she was a teenager. Ooh. The book Frankenstein is the name of the scientist, not the monster. Ooh. And a survey found that 85% of parents admit to taking Halloween candy after kids go to bed. Oh no, watch your candy, protect your candy, and make sure Mr. Raffle doesn't keep me away from the announcement so long. I hope you guys have a great day, remember it's a half day, be safe, be responsible, and be respectful when you go trick-or-treating today. Goodbye, yay!